honor to be here and to see all you girls go out today. Um, obviously a massive game against Brisbane, I'm very excited. Um, Blaine, I have to say I have to do a bit of homework on you because when I left Ireland you would have been eight, so that was 15 years ago, so I don't think we've matched up against each other. It's a good thing for you because my track record wasn't great on the field in Ireland. A good thing for me because you're bloody fast. <laughs> um, really excited to hear you might be matching up on an Irish player as well, so give her a run for her money. Um, I was chatting to Maeve Moriarty, the old teammate of yours back home, and she was able to fill me in on the family and all the county players. And um, yeah, so you've obviously come from an amazing family and amazing sporting background, so you've been able to convert that really well. Um, I don't think you'll be nervous out here today because you played a game with the G and scored a goal, so I don't think anyone can get that. Um, any advice, except to give you some advice? The only thing I remember from my time here was composure. I don't know if I <laughs> Extremely proud of you, Georgia. Um, not only myself, but your mother and uh, the rest of the family as well. Um, what you've done in such a short time has been nothing short of amazing. You've pretty much, uh, anything you've attacked in life, you've put your whole heart and soul into it, and your dedication has come to the fore. So um, nothing has changed in the last 12 months since you've got here and now you've done the work and you've got the chance to represent not only Melbourne Football Club for the first time but also wearing the number that I once wore for the club also. So immensely proud and have a great day. Mm -hmm.